Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You know, we need, that's why we need to protect him. When I say protect him, he's a man. He does not know everything and will never know everything. He will never protect himself from highness. When an innocent sheep is busy looking for what to eat and sees a hyena smiling, it takes a person that understands the character of a hyena to tell the sheep, run away, a hyena is coming. Whether he's laughing or he's not laughing, a hyena is a hyena. So I am saying this because why we are appreciating the president and appreciating the people that are working with him we must not allow criminals to come and capture him somebody came here and asked me a question to say see a one you say you see things of uh, many years how come you didn't see that Eddie Galungu is a bad person and we are supporting him against a church Eddie Galungu started very well he had the heart for the poor the same way that President H.H. has started very, very well and having the heart for the poor is how Edigalungu started. And usually that is how every president starts until criminals come in and capture them. Over my dead body, we are not going to allow H.H. to be captured. We are going to stand and defend him spiritually, physically, openly, secretly, and everywhere. I am raising this flag because of Dick Sinjere. Dick Sinjere is, is, is a corrupt human being. Dick Sinjere is a criminal. He does not love HH or UPND government. He is a cancer. The reason why I'm saying it is that I don't see the reason why of all people this Sinjera will be brought into State House and he makes State House his bedroom. He goes to State House and takes pictures with the president trying to paint the picture that is part of what is happening. He goes to the, uh, the chopper or the plan that the president is using and take pictures. What is he doing in State House? If Dick Sinjer, what is HH going to learn from Dick Sinjer? Apart from teaching him how to become a criminal, what else is he going to teach? Is Dick Sinjer not part of MMD? MMD was removed from power because of corruption. People were tired of MMD corruption and they voted for PF. And PF came and became worse. And people have voted out PF because of corruption. Then Somebody like Dick Sinjere is in State House. Do you what in State House? He was part of State House when Zambia was ridden with corruption. So what is he going to teach the president? Those of you in State House that are giving access to Dick Sinjere, be very careful. I am warning you, be very careful. We don't want President H.A. to be kidnapped by criminals. We don't want what happened to Eddie Galungu to happen to President HH. The, the battle we fought for HH to become a president costed us blood, costed us sacrifices, nearly costed us our, our, our lives. And then we want to bring in Dick Sinjere. What is Dick Sinjere going to teach HH in State House? That thing that is going to teach HH, why he didn't teach Rupi Abanda? Was him and the Rupia Banda were all disgraced from State House? Eh? What is Dick Sinjere doing with the president? Those of you that are giving him access, don't think that you are wise. You are not wise. We are wiser than you. PF took over power and thought that they would be there forever. Where are they? 
So if you think that you have gotten into power, maybe you think that we are foolish. You, you, you will regret. I swear upon God, Father. People voted corruption out. Corruption must be far away from the president. Corruption. Dixon Jerry is a corrupt human being. When I was busy campaigning for a church, my life was in danger in South Africa. I lost friends. I lost family. I lost so many things. I put my church, my calling, on a chopping board saying that if a church don't win, I will resign. I came out with my whole heart and my plan to fight for him to become president. That was when Dixon Jerry was writing an article calling me a charlatan. I don't blame the idiot. I don't blame the fool. This word charlatan has become a, a, any, any idiot from nowhere can wake up and call somebody a charlatan. Somebody was campaigning, putting together over 30,000 people gathered and watching him give a campaign message for an opposition leader. If HH go to campaign in any of the city himself as a president, how many people attend the campaign? If C1 in one, one broadcast will be talking to 30,000 people and by the time it's two, two to three days, over a million, over two million people have watched it, campaigning for the president. If I'm, I was busy doing that with my life in danger, and the idiot that is now in state house all over, taking picture with the church, taking picture in the plane, trying to show his fellow criminals that he has managed to find himself in state house, the idiot was calling me a charlatan. And today he goes and take, he, he, he's now following the president all over. The people that fought for the, the, the thing that we are enjoying today, what have you done to, for them? Eh? I mean the people that fought for HS to become president. HS is a social media president. The people that we are voicing out. How many are there am I going to mention? What have you done for them? Then an idiot that was busy fighting us, he went as far as jumping from MND, jumping to the, the, the highest grade of corruption, PF. And he want to be adopted to, 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 to campaign and, and become a member of parliament in Matero under PF. He didn't win because he didn't win. Now we have, he, he has found his way to state house. And you want, what do you want us to do? You are, you are, you are taking picture with the president and, and, and so what? You are an idiot. You are, you are, you are in the presidential jet. What do you want us to do? We, we run away. What is jet? A church is a president because we decided that he was going to be president. If not because Eddie Galungu messed up, today he was still going to be the president. Don't take people for granted. Those of you that are working in state house, that are giving access to criminals to go and kidnap a church. If they manage to kidnap a church, it will be war. It's very important that when you finish your tenure, you go and relax and enjoy your benefit. Than finishing your tenure and you go to prison. I know what I'm talking about. If you mess up UPND today and give power to member, member is going to put HH in prison. This is without trial and nothing is going to happen. Even if you want to bring the, the whole United Nations, member does not care about those things. If you give it to Chishimba Kambuiri, I know what I'm talking about. I see ahead. So let us protect this president. If you allow criminals to capture this president, you will regret. This in general must never be given access to state house. They are the people that introduce criminality in politics in Zambia. It was MMD. MMD was the father of corruption in the politics of Zambia. And this Sinjere was the architect of corruption. What is he doing with the president? What is he doing at state house? What is going on? Eh? What is going on? What is happening? 
President HH has the best guys that can that can that can deliver. Gito is there. A young man with the brain. How many of them am I going to talk about? They are, they are equal to the task. They can give uh, uh, the president the best advice. What is Dick Sinjere doing in State House? So that he can go and teach HH how to become a criminal. Eh? The way they destroyed Eddie Galungu. Eddie Galungu was a very good human being. He was very good, down to eight human being. I'm telling you, it, we came on board and, and, and decided to bring him down. If who say he was going to continue being the president, he was if he didn't mess up by now, he was still going to be the president. But he allowed people from you from from MMD to come and capture him. They captured him, chased away all the true greens. Where is you? Where is uh, Eddie Galungu today? Do they these cadres and those people that were with him do they follow him around again? You are giving you are opening doors. For Dixon Jerry and his friends to come and capture a church, you will cry. You will cry. There are people that are supposed to be close to a church. They don't even have access to a church. I mean, the guys that sacrifice, the guys that understand the vision of PF, you don't give them access to a church. They want to go and meet a church, you block them. But you allow a criminal. Uh, it's, it's just that we have to respect the dead. If not, who doesn't know what Rupi and his children did in Zambia? Are they not the one that sold Zamtel? And if I start talking, if I start mentioning the corruption, today Rupi Abanda is one of the richest presidents that we have in Africa within a short space of time. And he was looting with, with Dixon Jerry. Today, Dixon Jerry has turned back. And enter state house through the back door. And the, the problem, the idiot is not even eating with his mouth closed. Anything, he take picture. You want us to see you are with the president. You are a fool. You are you are an idiot. And you are with the president, and so what? There are people that talk to the president every day. They don't even make noise. You go to pres uh, presidential plan. You take picture. You are in the. You are you are you are a fool. Dick Sinjere, you are an idiot. You are, you, are, you are not even a smart criminal. When you are eating, anything MMD is dangerous. Please, be very careful. It's like PF. Satan will never repent. Their agenda is corruption. Once they enter into state house and capture a church, all the good things that you are seeing a church doing today, is he, he will never do it again. HH has delivered IM, uh, uh, IMF. HH has given free education. All these things are happening because there are no too much corrupt people around him. Let the way you are allowing criminals like uh, this in jail, they will get in and teach him corruption and you will come back and cry. Those of you, security to state out must be very careful. People like this in jail have, should have nothing to do next to the president. He was calling me a charlatan. Look at an idiot. A stranded lawyer that cannot deliver a single case. Calling a an international prophet. A, a prophet that is well respected, guided by state security. Calling me a charlatan. Look at a fool. Today you have managed, because you failed in material, eh? to support PF. You felt the material, then now you have found you've used back here to enter state house. You must be careful, state house people. Don't provoke people. If you are looking for people to work with, there are too many. You know them. Those that sacri there are many people that they, they lost their family members. They lost their money. They lost their times. Up to today, they cannot, they don't even have access to the district commissioners, not to talk of entering into the same plan with the president. Please, uh, it present HH, don't, uh, don't allow these people to deceive you. We love you so much and we want you to rule Zambia. The way you are doing, you are making us proud in Africa. I always said it, you are making us, you are making us proud in Africa.
you are you are really making us proud in Africa. But don't don't allow such nonsense to happen. This is the way they came to kidnap Edgar Lundi. From a very humble human being, he became a dictator and a corrupt human being. Don't allow that to happen. This injury must never be close to state house. These are criminals. They are the architect of criminality. Architect of criminality. They shouldn't be allowed there. Light and darkness has nothing in common to share. If you are looking for people to work with, look for people within your party. You have them. You have good guys. You have quality guys. Jito is here. Uh, uh, his friend, there, there are too many, two of these young guys that you have surrounded yourself with. Listen to them. You are you are heading towards the right direction. There is nothing that you are going to learn from criminals apart from criminality. Somebody was telling me, no, this injury is the one who made the Galungu to, to, to surrender power when he lost election. Rubbish. Nonsense. Nonsense. I mean, rubbish. There is no one that forced Galungu to surrender power. He lost the election. He needed to surrender power. These are the lies that are sh they are sharing with the uh, President HH. No, this one was helping you secretly. This one was feeding you secret information. This one, rubbish. Nonsense. There is nothing like it secretly, nothing. If you didn't support a church openly when he was in opposition, you don't love him. You are supporting him today because he's a president. Ati is the one who told Eddie Galungu. Who is Dick Sinjere to tell Eddie Galungu to leave? Eddie Galungu lost the election. What is there is for him to come down, hand over power. I know Eddie Galungu is a coward. Eddie Galungu does not have that type of mind to hold on to power when he loses election. Eddie Galungu started crying even before the announcement was made that HH has won. He's a, he's a coward, he's a cry cry baby. Eddie Galungu and Chishimba Kambiri, same, same, these guys are cowards. They don't have that mind, they cannot manage to hold on to power when they lose the election. There is nobody that convinced him. He was willing to step down. So let those people that are now trooping step house because we convinced, we, we us and the European Bank that convinced the uh, uh, Alungu to step down. It's a lie. There is nothing like conviction. Nothing. Edgar Alungu is a coward. We know the people that can take over presidency and they will not, no one will take it away from them. Somebody like member. If member have to win election today, the first day he will be sworn in without judgment, a church is going to prison. There are so many of them, he will throw them into prison. He will not want that. He will be like Kagami. And he will be like a, a, this one for the president of uh, 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 Uganda. I'm telling you. That's why, you see, when I look at some of you in European that are eating today with your tummy now is as big as, as a frog that swallowed snake. You don't know, you are laughing everywhere like, a, like idiots. You don't know what is ahead of you. I'm telling you. You don't know. Usually, when you get power, a fool gets power and don't think about 20 years to come. If you don't cement your authority and make sure that by the time HH is finishing his tenure, he's handing over back power to an MMD person, uh, to, to, to a UPND person. If you don't have that agenda, know that all of you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. You will even regret, say, why did we even form government? We should have been with our family and enjoy our freedom than to spend the rest of our life in prison. I know what is ahead coming. That is why we need to protect HH. 
We need to protect him like, like never before. And when Eddie Galumbu took over power, seven good years was like seven days. Where is he today? God is even merciful that he found a president like HH. Imagine if he found a, a president like Membe. By now, Eddie Galumbu was going to be saved. In jail, together with his family. And nobody will do anything. Nobody will talk anything. It's happening in Uganda. It's happening in Rwanda. What will stop it from happening in Zimbabwe, dear? What will stop it from happening in, in, in Zambia? These guys have a greater agenda. That you guys that are in power now must be very, very careful with what you are doing. I'm telling you, if not, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison and you will regret why you form government you will regret why you why you why you join politics that is why we must solidify our fence solidify our security around hatred so that he will not be captured so that he will not be captured if they capture him you will regret even those of you that are in state house that are giving access to Dixon Jerry, you don't know who Dixon Jerry is. That idiot is that idiot is 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 shameless. How do you you failed in MMD? They removed you because of your massive corruption with Ropia Banda, Dora Celia, and so many of you. Few years later, you jump into the same party that removed you. They rejected you. They did not adopt you. You now jump into the state house. Eh? And uh, to make the matter worse, you people in, in, uh, you people in, uh, in the UPN that are allowing these guys close to HH, you bring them close to HH, but you cannot manage to bring your own people close to HH. Your own people are busy struggling. They are suffering in the streets. You are telling them to go and get CDF when you know that ma majority of them are not educated. How do you tell a cadre that does not know anything to, to write proposal and write something for about CDF? Do you understand politics? Eh? Do you understand politics? Politics is all about you fight, you eat. You fight, you eat the people that fought with you you are not bringing them close to the president the people that you are bringing close to the president are criminals that campaigned against you dixon jerry if dixon jerry loved upn why didn't he stand and get adopted the upn ticket during the election if he was good what stopped him from a, a, a applying on upn and get adopted now that the president has won you come and tell me that he was there to bring information what useless information were you bringing because pf rigged the election already using the next during the time of national registration so what are you talking about you must be very careful don't provoke things that when it starts you will not finish it i'm telling you don't provoke it if you are eating, you must eat quietly and eat responsibly. And remember the people that labored with you. Don't abandon them. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Don't abandon them. CDF is for everybody. All the youths. All the men and women in Zambia. But remember the soldiers that we are fighting busy running up and down with hh campaigning when i speak you say it's one zambia one nation that is very good if uh, dixon jerry is a zambian and he has eaten enough during the time of Ropia band i believe you must also give way for other zambians to eat because it's not the only zambian when one zambian eats another zambian eat another zambian eat that is the definition of one zambia one nation the same people cannot continue eating in the name of one zambia one nation when others are not eating 
Were others born in Afghanistan thrown to Zambia? He must leave state house immediately and allow the people that labored for this party to enjoy also. You cannot eat with criminals and come back to eat with UPN. That cannot happen. I am willing to turn around and start fighting UPN. I swear. I am willing to relocate, to leave Nigeria, to go to another country and sit down and make sure that I fight for the people that fought for the party. I swear upon Godfather. I love HH from the bottom of my heart. But I don't want criminals near him. I do not want criminals near him. I do not want criminals near him. Because if they kidnap him, all of us are going to regret. And how many of you are regretting today because criminals kidnapped Eddie Galungu? The day Eddie Galungu was attending Santa's Beria, everybody cried. Everybody cried. When he started crying, all of us cried. All of us shed tears because we love him. The time he became a monster, all of us became affected. I was part of that thing. So we cannot allow a church to be captured again and we cry. While we are thanking him for what he's achieving today, we want to say that he is achieving it because he's not a corrupt man. He is a corrupt free man. And if we don't protect him from corruption, they come and teach him corruption and he becomes corrupt, we are going to suffer. We are going to suffer. So this is what I came to say. This is what I want to say today. And time without number, I am going to be here to make sure that we are watching Anything that is happening there, we are watching. HH is our project. HH, we lost so many things to make sure that he became president. It's our responsibility to stand and speak and make sure that he's protected. Criminals are coming. They are laughing like a hyena, coming closer and closer because HH is innocent. He's just beginning to learn politics. He's not a businessman. To him, anybody that laughs with him, he embraces the person. And they bite him. Bah! That's why he was betrayed a lot. He is the most, he is the most betrayed uh, opposition leader in Africa. Because, you know, he embraced everyone. Uh, GBM came. He opened his heart. Opened his hand and impressed GBM because GBM was laughing. What happened? GBM bite him. Kamwiri came. He opened his arm and embraced Kamwiri because Kamwiri was laughing. He bite him. Today he has become a president. They have started laughing and coming closer, closer. It will not work. I see a one the dawn of power. I am telling you that it will not work. We are not going to allow nonsense in this government. We are not going to allow nonsense in this government. HH has capacity. HH has guys that are wise. Let him work with them. At least they don't know corruption yet. Let him work with them. When you want to apply lotion on your body, you don't put the whole finger in the lotion. You put one finger to pick lotion. And that one finger will distribute the lotion to the whole of the palm and to the whole of the fingers. That is how corruption happens. The moment other criminals have seen that uh, 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 their fellow criminal, Dick Sinjere, has been allowed in State House. And is now, he now sees State House as, a, as his kitchen. They will come. One finger of corruption will now spread corruption all over the finger. President HH, we love you. We don't want that to happen to you. This your government has made us proud. It has really made us proud. Personally, to me, every blessed day, people are writing me messages to say, hey, Papa, thank you so much for making us to vote for this 
uh, 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 president. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you. I was about to give up. Now see what the president is doing. I am happy. Everybody's happy. And I don't want to stop being happy. Anything that will make me stop being happy, we are going to crush it. I'm telling you. I love you, His Excellency. And you know that from 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 deep down your heart. But we don't want criminals near you. You have all it takes to take Zambia to anywhere you want to take it. And you have guys that can help you do that. Stay away from criminals like Dixon Jerry. He's a criminal. We don't want him next to State House again. Please. We don't want him. I'm, I know what I'm talking about. He is a criminal and has nothing to offer to the people of Zambia. If he had anything to offer, he had the opportunity with Ropia Banda. Three good years to offer it. They didn't offer it. All they offered was massive corruption. Selling of Zambian properties criminalities so what is he going to offer to the people of zambia now we love you stay away from such criminals and this is the month of september i want to pray for a few of you under the sound of my voice that september is the month of massive sacrifices massive killing massive destruction because we have entered into ember month in this september the lord shall preserve you in this september the lord is going to favor you in this september you will not lack in this september when i'm prophesying when i'm giving this declaration i want you to be claiming it with an amen continue putting your amen there continue putting your amen i am praying for you Whatever you wanted to achieve this year, 2022, in January you didn't achieve it. This September you shall achieve it. Whatever you wanted to achieve, you are going to achieve it. I am going to pray for you. I am going to cut this broadcast right now because I have done political, uh, political broadcast. I am coming in now to pray for you for september a lot of things are going to happen in september there are over eleven thousand people that will achieve their goal of 2022 that they were planning to achieve many years that they did not achieve they are going to achieve it in this september so i'm going to cut this broadcast right now because it's a political broadcast and start a, a declaration broadcast and give you the instruction you are about to receive in Jesus' name. I love you. God bless you. His Excellency President Akainde Chilema, you know from deep down your heart that no one loves you more than Siawa. I love you and I'm willing to defend you. And uh, I want to congratulate you for uh, what you have achieved so far. You have made us proud, like I always say. You have made us proud, proud Africa, not just Zambia. You know, White people used to see us say, when you say I'm coming from Africa, they only see corruption. But since you became a president, they are now beginning to see that there are good guys in Africa. So I'm so happy because of what you are doing for the people of Zambia. And when you finish ruling Zambia, we are also going to campaign for you to become a president for Africa. <laughs> I love you. You know that I love you. But stay away from criminals, please don't allow them next to you you are very important to us you are like a diamond to us and you know when you pick up a diamond you must protect it so that uh, it, it doesn't get contaminated share the broadcast uh, god bless you Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.